Hello everyone, I'm Metamax and welcome back to the IBL. This is the last week of the regular season for the IBL and we're actually facing one of our prep partners this week. Kind of funny how the last person I face every season seems to be the person that I go for prep partnering most. Ah, that's fun. Alright, there Praetor is. Let's get going. I am ready to get absolutely throttled. Harkonine, yep, weird ear. Okay. No fly, no fly gun, no scissor. Okay. Interesting lineups. Interesting lineups. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we did, he did bring... The tight up. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, uh, Lottie has the lead plan. I really freaking hope I didn't make a mistake by not bringing Stealth Ra. Uh, not bringing Stealth Ra. Not bringing Rapid Spin. Alright, uh, Latias is going to be the lead out, and yes, this is a bit of a janky, weird lineup. Oh, right. He's going to probably have the Terra Water on the uh, thing, so Sap Sipper plans. That was a really good plan overall. I mean, Sap Sipper into the, the weird ear. So no Scizors. That's surprising. I was... I was like, okay, Scizor is coming, Flygon is coming. Like, I was like, those are definitely coming. I'm surprised he didn't bring either of them. Ah, uh, this is all right. I am. I am ready to lose. Dark, of course. The one thing I didn't want to lead out. Okay. Um, I know he's done like trick shenanigans on the thing before, so this could be incredibly stupid. This could be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly stupid. But we're going into Tarantar right now. Nope, 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 we are not dealing with this. We are not dealing with Darkrai. That was my biggest worry was that freaking Darkrai. And he had to leave the Darkrai. I really hope he's not calling Focus Blast. Physical Darkrai, dang it. Uh, of course it's Physical Darkrai. Uh, of course it is Physical Darkrai. Well, we lose this. This is... Yep, and there's the Drain Punch. And this is game for us. And this is game. But we lose this. Well. Yeah, no, no, we lose this. We, we just lose this. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. Well, no, no, we, we, got, we, got, we have dark types. We have, we have stuff and things we can do on this thing. We have stuff and things. Okay. Um, he's gonna. I mean, if he goes that, we just get freaking black. If he if he goes for like you know, okay, he's withdrawn. Please bring in. Oh yes, please. Oh yes, please. Thank you very very much. I mean, unfortunately, we've now lost sand. So now we basically need to be relying on this thing. Aw, uh, Tentacruel is game-ended entirely now. Did, did you think we were going to be Terra Fairy? Interesting. Yeah, now we have nothing faster than that Dark Ride, but I know now the Dark Ride is a physical set, so I, I can, I'm less afraid of it now. I'm less afraid of that Dark Ride. I outspeed this thing, so I don't need to worry about this uh, Toxic Spikes anymore. Good. Okay, that's good. Um. Okay, we're fine with us. We are, we are mostly okay with us. Um, I'm surprised no scissor. I should have seen that fighting move coming. That was a big mistake on my part. <sighs> so it is drain punch. It was drain punch. Now, now this is bad. I lost my Tyranitar. I I very much needed that for the end game play. So he is physical. I mean, now I can check out to see what he actually is attacking to see if maybe plus two drain punch wouldn't take me down. Um, I mean, plus two drain punch. Drain punch. All right. What guys? What is your item? You boots? Oh come on! Oh come on! It missed. Really? 
It figures. Weather. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are actually gonna get destroyed by this. We lose. We entirely lose this. And he brought that. Yeah. I sh You brought offensive Zapdos. Like, we had to miss that one thing. Yeah. This is very much game. This is very much game for us. Oh! What is... Is that Harkonite? Oh, that's this thing. Oh, what, you have Swift Swim? You have, you have Swift Swim? Okay. Um... Bleak Wind, I mean, Bleak Windstorm can't miss in rain. So... I mean, the speed drop is gonna be completely irrelevant anyway. Belly Drum, and I Belly Drum Ice Shard. Belly Drum Ice Shard. Yep, we lose. Wait, is, is Ice Shard a contact move? We lose this. Does not make contact, dang it. Yep, we lose. We lose. And then he's going to be bringing in the... Yeah. Because then he's going to bring in the... Well, then again, he has no reason to not. He has no reason to just not bring that in. Yep, and that is game. Yep. We lose. Well played, Praetor. Very, very well played. Very well played. How fast is this freaking... Wow, he ran a lot of speed on that, so Titan. You're in a lot of speed on that thing. Good, well played to you, a freighter. That miss. Yeah, that was a lot of speed. And this is the lineup for our last battle of the regular season for the IBL. Hopefully we can win this matchup, but whether we win it or not actually doesn't matter unless Nova loses his match against Umbra. So, well, we're gonna ball. We have our fairly standard Rillaboom this week. Instead of actually going pretty aggressive with it, I actually decided to make it quite bulky. The Akaberry is there because of the Hisui and Arcanine. With the absolute insane amount of bulk I have on this thing, I can actually survive a Choice Banded Flare Blitz, even if it is Adamant Banded. Again, I need the Akaberry for that, and a high horsepower will just flat end that thing. But the Yasuin Arcanine is not the biggest worry on his team. That is the Scizor, and I literally have nothing for the Scizor, unfortunately. So I just need to make sure he doesn't bug bite me. Tyranitar is! I have finally decided to go with Smooth Rock. There were a few t uh, few matches earlier this season where that could have been much more beneficial to me. Probably if I brought that against Nova myself, I actually probably would have been able to win that fight, and even some other matches. But this week, we are going with the Smooth Rock. I was originally going to go with Leftovers, but when we get to the Excadrill, we'll get over why this was this. Stone Edge, I, I need Stone Edge to take down Zapdos um, if he is a bulky Roost version, which is probably what he's going to be, because offensively, he doesn't really deal with anything on my team other than the Volcanion, and Zapdos is just an annoying Pokemon to deal with in general. 
I do need that Stone Edge to try and take that thing out. Rock Slide can do something, but it's not as, as safe. Uh, Fire Punch is there to smack Scizor if Scizor switches in. It doesn't ensure a knockout, but it's uh, about a 40% chance to knock out if he actually has full, uh, full HP. Uh, originally, I was going to go Flamethrower and go Brave Nature, but because Fire Punch actually does more damage, even very slightly, I decided to go with it. There's also no chance he's really going to be switching in Zapdos in place of a Scizor, so I don't really need to worry about getting paralyzed on that. Knock off Standard Attack. Uh, the real big thing about this thing is this thing is good against the Scizor. It is good against the Darkrai. Now, if Darkrai has Focus Blast, that's a bit of a problem. But, or even a fighting move in general, so that's a bit of a worry. Um, yeah. The other issue is Yasui and Arcanine with Bandit Head Smash two shots this thing, even with absolute max bulk. So with a positive defensive nature and 252 EVs in both HP and defense, an adamant Bandit Head Smash Harkonine will two shot me, so I cannot switch into this thing. I think nothing can switch into Head Smash Harkonine other than Ectodrill. And Ectrill's kind of got to worry about uh, potential Flare Blitz. So, again, not great. Uh, Earthquake is there just, you know, for regular punishing of things and hitting the Harkonine if I can survive the hit. As in, you know, I get it in, he brings in the Harkonine and tries to take me out with it. It's for that. Maybe he's got close combat on it, I don't know. And that is, again, a big worry because that ambiguity. Tornadus! I have been really wanting to run Chilling Water on something this entire season, and I finally found an opportunity to bring it. Heat Wave is there to take out the Scizor. It's probably my best answer into Scizor that isn't Volcanion, who originally was going to be on the team, but it doesn't do much meaningful, that it is fantastic. Uh, originally Volcanion was going to be on the team, but it just doesn't do enough to his entire team to kind of justify bringing it, so I ended up not bringing it. I was going to have Heat Wave on Tornadus anyway, because it does deal with Scizor. It is pretty much my best answer into Scizor, but it's still not, again, reliable. A Heat Wave, I believe, actually should take out Scizor, unless Scizor is max uh, special defense, where there's a chance of surviving. But I think more likely he's just going to go max HP. Uh, U-Turn is there for general pivoting. I was originally going to have Focus Blast, as that does do more damage, to the Hisuian Arcanine than Chilling Water. But Chilling Water is there because with Charty Berry, I will survive a Head Smash, and... With the Chilling Water's attack drop, I will actually also survive that with a lot more HP. Chilling Water will two-shot him unless he's, like, max HP. But if he's max HP, that means he's not, uh, unless he's high HP or special events, it means he's not running speed. Which is good for me. So, again, it's really about figuring out what does he have on the Harkonine, what's its teching, and that's a bit of a problem. And the Chilling Water does help punish things like the Flygon, which can't really come in, and Dragon Dance. Also, it would punish the Scizor switch in potentially, but I don't think he's going to be switching in Scizor into Tornadus because it is pretty much like the answer to Scizor that isn't the Volcano. Houndstone is going to be a bit necessary here. It is capable of outspeeding everything other than, I believe, a Scarf Darkrai, which Scarf Darkrai also uh, outruns everything on my team, other than if I went for a Jolly Excadrill, but I needed Adamant here, and I, I, I'm, I hesitate to say I'm, I would be okay with a, a Scarf Darkrai, but the only thing that I, I get outsped by is a Scarf Darkrai, so I think that's a bit of an okay-ish thing to be with. Uh, Terror Blast Fairy does not one-shot the Darkrai, but it does mostly take it down. There's a, a slim, there's like a 40-something percent chance it lives, so we should be fine, especially if we, you know, deal a little bit of chip damage with, say, sand, because it's probably going to be taking a little bit of sand damage even before then, so again pretty much take it out. The Babira Berry is there because we are going to be terrestrializing this thing into Fairy. Uh, Sludge Bomb from Darkrai doesn't take me down, which is good, but it is there to survive a bullet punch from Scizor. I was debating going with Fire Fang on this thing, as it does learn Fire Fang, but I felt Destiny Bond could be a better alternative, as that would punish everything. So if I outspeed him, I just go Destiny Bond, is like, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to attack me or are you going to switch out? You know, it gives me essentially a free turn of either Poltergeist or Terror Blast, and it can punish something like, say, like Zapdos, especially for the last turn of Sand, where I then go uh, after them, so they still can't really attack me. So, again, it's a bit of a janky thing, but I hope Destiny Bond actually can be a bit useful here. Latias is, as usual, damagey tech. Uh, she actually has no offensive investment here. She is just enough to outspeed 
a Jolly Hisuian Arcanine, so 307 base speed, and then everything else is going into physical defense and HP. Because again, that Harkonine is a problem. Uh, she has Rocky Helmet because again, the biggest threats are the Harkonine, they are the Scizor, and very likely his Zapdos is going to be U-turning. On Latias, there's just a little bit of chip damage. You know, just that, that little bit of nice chip damage is always good to have. Ice Beam is there to deal with Zapdos. I was originally going to go with Mist Ball over Psyshock just to debuff Zapdos if we get the chance, potentially debuff the Alola Ninetales, but I don't quite think Alola Ninetales is coming in, and Psyshock has a fairly solid chance of knocking out the Tedicruel if he brings it. Also, it targets the lower physical defense on something like the Alola Ninetales, but I'm not sure how that interacts with the Snow, so that might have changed. I may have actually probably should have done that. But again, it's where uh, it's, everything's a bit unsure on this. Surf will one-shot the Hisuian Arcanine, unless it is a Water Resist Berry, which is the Facial Berry, which means he's not banded, so again, kind of a good thing there. But again, we just don't know. Aura Sphere is there in a pinch if I need to have Latias take down Darkrai, but it's not really great, because again, it's, it's Latias facing a Darkrai. And then there comes to Excadrill. This is really the big power player we need this week. A plus two Sand Rush Excadrill under Sand is capable of cleaning just about everything on his team. It does not one-shot the Zapdos if it is extremely heavily defensive invested, so max HP and basically max defense bold, but it more or less cleans it out entirely. You know, it's something between 70 to high 80s percent chance. It's somewhere between 70s to mid 80s percent uh, damage in total. So if that thing has a decent amount of chip damage, and again, the sand will be in play, that thing gets taken out. I don't really fear a heat wave from that thing, as it does about something like 60% damage, but I also put everything else into its special defense so I can survive those hits better. And the Lumberry is there in the event he, say, switches out the whatever is in play from Iron Head into Zapdos, and then Zapdos has static. So if the Lumberry is activated so I don't get paralyzed, because that's kind of an important thing if, if I don't get paralyzed on that thing. But in general, it's probably could have been a better item. We couldn't have gone AV because we do need the Swords Dance. Didn't go with Rapid Spin this week, and I hope this does not bite me in the butt. But yeah, this is our lineup for the last week of the regular season of the IBL. Let's hope we can win it. And, uh, well, it all depends on how Nova's match goes. Okay, slight adjustments. So, I uh, just last minute changed the Terra type on the Houndstone from Fairy into Ground. This is because I kind of realized, wait, I'm not going to really be using this thing to fight Darkrai. Uh, Darkrai is not as big of a threat, but again, he can't take it out in one hit anyway. But the kind of problem is the Scizor, and why would I be willingly walking into a bullet punch straight to the face? With Terra Ground, I can survive the bullet punch a lot better, I am immune to discharge, and would force the Zapdos to either go for a U-turn or for Heat Wave, and then I can also actually attack on Fire Fang. By attacking on Fire Fang, I can kind of take out the Scizor, uh, again, it's a fairly strong hit into the Scizor, unless it's an Aqua Berry, but that's kind of its own type of thing. The Nightshade is there just for reliable damage against just about everything. Uh, Poltergeist, again, strong damage in general. And the Terror Blast would be Terror Blast Ground. Can't take out the Dark Rye in a single hit, but I think overall the Harkonine is a much bigger threat, and having Fire Fang to take out these is are, are also much better. But yeah, it's uh, a little bit of slight adjustments. Let's hope it works.